Good afternoon, morning, folks. Mike Wells, your World Explorer. Today is June the 14th, 2022, and we're going to be taking a look at uh, two different ways we're going to fight the root knot nematode um, while trying to grow the seminal pumpkin. These seeds are the best seeds that I've been able to get a hold of um, from TFO LLC. Here's how you find them. You can find them on eBay at t.farms. Um, they're also on YouTube, so check them out. By the way, uh, nobody sponsors me, so this isn't a paid-for advertisement. This is just somebody that I buy seeds from. So what are we battling? It's the root boring nematode. Root boring nematodes go after literally all squash plants. So uh, because we have this very hot climate with the sugar sand, they love the sugar sand. So the only way to get rid of them is to go through all kinds of weird measures um, and discover which one works best for your soil. So today we're gonna be doing the uh, juglone test in this location which is uh, black hull powder, I'm sorry, black walnut hull powder. Um, and we're gonna just do two top layers, basically one ounce sprinkled. And this hole, which is more of an understory location. And then we'll go over to the other location, which I just showed you. And we're gonna use the inoculant which is a beneficial bacteria and beneficial fungi inoculant. Let's get right to it. Okay, and now we have a few inches of organic material. It actually looks pretty good because it's kind of dark. So we'll put some sand on top of this. Sand is down, now I'm going to go for more leaves. Leaves are down, now I'm going for more sand. Sand down, now I'm going to go ahead and put the black walnut hull powder on top of this layer because this is the second from last sand layer that I'm laying in. Hole powder is down, now I'm going to put some leaves on top of that. Leaves down, now I'm going for sand. Then I'm going to poke some holes and plant the seeds. Last layer of sand, about two inches. It's down, the seeds are in the ground. I already pinched the holes, now I'm going to put the hole powder, the rest of that pack, on top here. Hole powder is down, I put it on top of the sand because I wanted to percolate down into the sand. Leaves are down, now I'll water this in and move over to the other location. Okay, this is hole number two for the seminal pumpkin and we're going to inoculate it. Beneficial bacteria and beneficial fungi. Let's start with some leaves and detritus in the bottom. Leaves are down, now I'm going to inoculate. Inoculant is down, now I'm going for some sand. Sand down, now I'm going for leaves. Leaves down, now I want to inoculate again. Inoculant down, now I want to put some sand on again. And then place my seeds. Sand down, I poke my ho holes and put my seeds in. Seeds are in the holes, now I'll pinch the holes and then put more inoculant down. Holes pinched, inoculant down, now I'm going to cover with leaves and water in good. Final layer of leaves are down and now I'm just watering this in. Folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps the channel grow. And stay tuned as I keep you updated on the progress of these seminal pumpkins. Also, if you would like to follow the backstory of our seminal pumpkin experiences on this property in zone 10A 9B border of Florida, then all you have to do is click on the playlist at the top right of this video. Have a good day.